Example 4, an object is decelerating at 3 meters per second square. If it initially moves at 36 meters per second, how far does it travel before it comes to rest? Click on the answer buttons to proceed. The initial velocity is 36 meter per second. The acceleration is negative 3 meter per second square. We are asked to find the distance travel when the final velocity becomes zero. Time t is absent in the list. Therefore, we can use the equation v square equal to u square plus 2as. Copy the equation. Substitute all the values into the equation. Solve the equation. The displacement is equal to 216 meter. Example 5. A coin is released from a building of height 20 meter. Find the time taken for the coin to reach the ground. Click on the answer buttons to proceed. This is a typical free-falling question. Keep in mind that all vertical motion is considered free-falling unless it's stated otherwise. During free-falling, the acceleration is always 10 meters per second square. Before the coin is released, its velocity is zero. Therefore, the initial velocity is zero. The height of the building is equal to the displacement of the coin. Hence, displacement is 20 meters. We are asked to find the time taken for the motion. In this question, final velocity is not involved. Therefore, we can use the equation s equal to ut plus half a t squared to solve the problem. Let's rewrite the equation. Substitute all the numbers into the equation and solve it. The time taken is 2 seconds. Example 6. A stone is thrown vertically upwards with a velocity of 25 meter per second. Find the time taken for the stone to reach the maximum height. Click on the answer button to proceed. This is another typical question of free falling. When an object is launched upward, its acceleration is always negative 10 meter per second square. Its initial velocity is 25 meter per second. We are asked to find the time taken for it to reach the maximum height. If you'll still remember, in the slide discussing hidden information, we have mentioned that when an object is launched upward, its velocity becomes zero at maximum height. Therefore, the final velocity is zero at maximum height. Displacement is not involved, therefore we use the equation v equal to u plus at to solve the problem. As usual, substitute all the numbers into the equation and solve the equation. The time taken is 2.5 seconds.